Yeah, that's recording now. Right, well, we'd better do it again if it's got you saying, yes, we're recording now. <laughs> All right, now, we'll start. Let's just go. Let's, OK, what I'm going to do, just got new remora, got it a week ago, uh, and I'm going to just find out what sort of time it's keeping, because I set it exactly correctly by the speaking clock. Uh, so let's see uh, if I can use the telephone. So that's what it looks like there. So it's got a lovely strap. Right, so it seems to be gaining. It should be uh, 356 and 30 seconds. The watch is saying 337. So it's within a week it's gained about 30 seconds. Okay. Um, I think that's all right from an automatic watch. Um, so anyway, this is what it looks like. It's a very nice looking watch in my quest to find the ultimate dive watch. So very clean face, uh, very bright. It's got a little bit of an industrial look, I think, with the bead blasted uh, body and strap. You can get um, a shiny body and strap. You can get the uh, PVD. Is it PVD? Is it PVD, Carl? Mm, Is that so. the black, what they call the black stuff? Um, there's a couple of these models left. The beauty of this watch is its limited edition side of it. I think there's about 50 or so made of each style, then they make a, a new model, a new style. So you get a watch that is uh, uh, really quite exclusive. You can see that in the back there. Uh, on the back of this, it has um, model number 30. If you're watching this and you have one of these watches and yours also says number 30, let me know. But I'm presuming that uh, they are numbered individually. Um, but nice looking watch. Now, Carl, bung me your watch a minute, if you can. And we'll just, we'll just to compare, Carl's got a really nice Christopher Ward uh, dive watch, the Trident. So we'll use that just to compare size. I think they're going to be fairly similar in size. I don't know what the actual millimetre size is. Sorry, I think so that's 43, I think. Both of them upside down. Um, so both nice looking watches. Um, similar sort of visibility, I'd say. Um, strap style's different, got the mesh and then the uh, interlocking sections there, but that's just preference. They've deliberately gone with the Remora to um, have uh, sort of like a 1950s style with the hidden lug sections here. Um, there's a little bit of give in the bezel, I don't know why that is, I don't know if your watch does that, Carl. No, it doesn't actually, so I don't know whether that is um, just something about the manufacturer that's not quite spot on, I don't know. Uh, it's no big deal. Um, I've not tested um, the watch in deep water, so I don't know what the uh, waterproof is like. It's meant to be 500 metres. But nice solid um, uh, bezel movement there. Uh, all round, very nice watch. As I say, gaining a bit of time. Um, I don't know what the uh, tolerances are meant to be. I might look that up. Uh, but ultimately, nice watch, quite exclusive. Reasonable price, I'd say. They don't have all the sponsors to pay. A bit like Christopher Ward, this is another independent watchmaker. It's nice to see it's small watch brands. Rather, if you pay for a Breitling, an Amiga, a lot of the money you're paying is going to for, is for them to pay uh, famous people to wear it on their wrists, sponsor racing events, etc., etc. These guys don't have those outlays, so you get a lot of money. Sorry, you get a lot of watch for your money. So uh, that's the Remora by Benarus, a little independent watch company. Okay, thank you. Catch you later.